I've never been this tall before. Uh, to follow on with what uh, Congresswoman Jenkins was saying, the President's health care law is the wrong solution to address the challenges of health insurance access and affordability. It's the wrong solution for this economy. I have many constituents who've told me the same story that John from Ashe County told me. His insurance premium is going to increase 33 percent, but his hours at work have been cut. How is he going to pay for his health insurance? That's what he wants to know. Furthermore, this is being felt all across North Carolina in schools and community colleges, universities, where substitute teachers, adjunct professors' hours are being cut. For them, Obamacare is uh, threatening their take-home pay and hurting their career opportunities. And what's next? As uh, Congresswoman Jenkins said, uncertainty is really facing people out there, and they'd like some certainty. They don't know whether they, they know they're not going to be able to keep their plan, they know they're not going to be able to keep their doctor, but what other problems are they going to have? Are we going to hear some answers from Secretary Sebelius today? We're in the holiday season and families are very concerned about their budgets. They're waiting for clarity in this area also from the administration that keeps waiting till the last minute, changing its mind and announcing the next big delay. We need certainty and we need a better plan. Republicans have that. Thank you.